using structural formulas write down a balance equation for reaction one let's go ahead and take a look at reaction one we are starting with but one in we are adding a hydrogen and a halogen to get some product x well in our previous videos i've made it very clear if a reaction starts with an alkene it is an addition reaction without looking at any other thing if it starts with an alkene it is an addition reaction no questions asked what are we adding in this reaction we're adding a hydrogen and a halogen well let's start and see what we're gonna have we are starting with but one in so that is one two three four and on the first carbon we have a double bond so now it's just a matter of filling out the hydrogens let's go ahead and do that and see where we end up right there we go we have built one in let's make sure that we have the correct number of hydrogens on this carbon we have one two three four bonds so that is okay on the second carbon we have one two three four so it seems like everything checks out so what are we adding we add in a hydrogen and a halogen the name of this addition reaction would be hydrohalogenation the name of an addition reaction comes from what you are adding well let's go ahead and have our products it is easy to see that this double bond is going to break to accommodate the hydrogen and the halogen but where is the hydrogen going to go where is the halogen going to go the hydrogen is going to go to the carbon with the most number of hydrogens already if you look at our situation this first carbon here has two hydrogens and the second one has one hydrogen so the hydrogen is going to go to the carbon with the most number of hydrogens that is Makonikov's law so let's go ahead and have our product now we're saying that our hydrogen is going to go to the first carbon as it has uh, the highest number of carbons compared to the other carbon that it can possibly occupy yeah so from this reaction this is our major product our minor product is when uh, the halogen is on the first carbon that is 4.1 4 marks let's go ahead and do 4.2 write down the name of the type of reaction that occurs when but one in is converted to compound x we already know that if a reaction starts with an alkene we have an addition reaction quite an easy question to answer 4.3 write the structural formula and IUPAC name of the secondary alcohol y that forms so we've built one in and through some reaction three our product is a secondary alcohol well it is starting with an alkene so we know that it is an addition reaction which addition reaction leads to an alcohol hydration right so given that it is a secondary alcohol but we would also be able to get to a conclusion that the alcohol that is formed is secondary but anyway let's go ahead and have our alcohol one two three four on the second carbon we have o eight yeah that is wrong it's not supposed to be like that we're supposed to have a dash here to show that oh is not one thing it is an oxygen bond into an hydrogen if you are writing the structural formula you need to put that bond there well everywhere else we have hydrogens so we can just go ahead and put that there again our product is a secondary alcohol because of the maconikov's law let's go ahead and name this alcohol how many carbons one two three four which side are we numbering from from the right because our oh is, is going to be on the second carbon but if we start numbering from the left it is going to be on the third carbon well it means that our iupac name will be butan to all right the functional group is on the second carbon that is 4.3
Let's do four point four. Name the type of substitution reaction that occurs when compound X is converted to the secondary alcohol Y. So there is only one substitution reaction that can give you an alcohol. It is hydrolysis. There is no other substitution reaction that leads to the formation of an alcohol. So without uh, thinking very hard, we know that the answer is hydrolysis there. If your alcohol is formed through a substitution reaction, it is hydrolysis. If it is formed through an addition reaction, it is hydration. Yes, 4.5, 4.5.1. We B1 in can be converted directly to the secondary alcohol without the formation of the intermediate product X with the help of a catalyst. 4.5.1, except B1 in, write the name of the reactant needed for this reaction. Well, a reaction that takes us from but one in to the secondary alcohol, it is an addition reaction. But they don't want to say now in 4.5.1, because it is equation in 4.2. So if they tell you what it is, then you can actually say, oh, okay, it means that the answer to 4.2 is um, addition. What do you need to add to but one in in order to have an alcohol as your product? You need to add H2O. But they say the name. So if you write H2O, it is wrong. Because H2O is not a name. The name is water. Right. That is another trick to the question. Because if you write H2O, I'm telling you, your answer is wrong. You need to write water. And 4.52, write down 4.5.2, write down the formula of the catalyst that can be used. If you write sulfuric acid, your answer is wrong. The question says formula. So you're supposed to write H2SO4 and 4.5.3. Name the type of reaction that you okay during this direct conversion. It's two marks for one question because the same question is getting asked in 4.2. The type of reaction that will occur is addition. 